In this video, I'm going to provide the solution for the assignment related to the motion of turtle seam in ROS. And this time is going to be in Python. So remember, I have already made the motion with C++. And in this video, we're going to do the same using the Python programming language. So let's get started. So let me remind the objective is to develop an application to make the turtle seam move either in a straight line forward backward or also to rotate on itself and then to develop an application that makes the robot for example going into a grid shape or into a spiral shape. So let's get started with the, the turtle seam. This is our turtle seam and this is now the Python code that is actually a translation of the C++ code that we have presented in the previous videos. Of course, first of all, we need to import the necessary library. We're going to import rospy and twist messages because here the velocity command of the robot is twist message. We're going to import also the pose of the turtle seal, the pose message, and some other libraries like the math, the time, and the empty message here. We're going to need them later. The first thing that we need to do is to create a publisher uh, and a subscriber. So we're going to create a subscriber for the post topic. Okay, and the post topic here, as you already know. So if I make a post topic list, the post topic is called Turtle One Pose. So Turtle One Pose is the topic that is used to find the position of the robot. We will write a subscriber for this topic. Okay, this is the type of the message, is pose and the pause callback. This is a function that will be executed every time there is a new message that arrives. So the pause callback will just take a pause message as parameter that is the incoming message itself and then we will create global variables x, y, z and u. So x, y will represent the information. So z we don't need here because we have only two dimension. We have x is y are the position of the robot and u is the theta, is the orientation of the robot. So every time we receive a new message, we are going to update the global variable x, y and u. Okay, so x equal to pose message dot x and y equal to pose message dot y. So you may wonder why it's, it's like this. Remember that when we make our topic info slash turtle one slash pose okay this is the type of the message and if we show the content of the message using ross msg show then here we will find that this message pose contains x which is this one okay pose message dot x and dot y and dot theta so theta this is the orientation So while we do this, actually we will need to have the values of x, y, and u in different other methods, so we make them global variables, so we can access them anywhere in the program. Going back to the main function, okay, we have also velocity publisher, although we can define it later, but the velocity publisher will be publishing on the topic turtle1cmdevel, because here we have turtle1cmdevel as the topic for the velocity message. And just to see the information about this message again, rostopic info slash turtle one slash cmdevel. Okay, and it's of type geometry message twist, ros msg show, and we can see the content is as follows. We have a linear component and we have an angular component and linear and angular we have x, y, z components. Okay, that's pretty much fine. Let's get started with the first method, the method move. Okay, the method move, it takes a speed, it takes a distance to move, and it takes a direction. Okay, so how to do that? In the same way we did in the C++ version, we're going to define a velocity message object and here we're, go we're going to call the global variable x and y. So in this method, 
I'm going to use the distance moved as the Euclidean distance between the current coordinate and the initial coordinate. So for example, when it moves in this location, I'm going to calculate the Euclidean distance between this point and the starting point. So what I need to do, I need to save the starting point. I need to store it initially. And then when the robot is going to move, I can get the new position using the callback function and then calculate the Euclidean distance. You already that the Euclidean distance between two points is the square root of x minus x0 square plus y minus y0 square. So you can look at the definition of the Euclidean distance, which we are going to apply in this program. Okay, so first of all, we're going to take the current location before the robot starts moving and the current location will be x0 equal to x and y0 equal to y then depending on the direction whether it is forward or backward we're going to set the velocity linear x either to a positive value that's why we use the absolute abs it's for the absolute value so uh, whatever the value will be here i'm going to guarantee that the velocity in linear x will be positive and if the direction is not forward is backward so i'm going to set a negative value and then of course as usual we have to set up uh, a loop rate so we're going to publish the velocity commands 10 times a second and we create a publisher for the velocity command on the topic total one cmd value and then we will do a while loop so the robot is going to keep moving until it reaches a certain distance so while true we're going to publish the message so when we publish the message the robot is going to move and then we will do a sleep so this is going to guarantee that the message is going to publish 10 times a second and then after sleeping we're going to calculate the distance that is moved is equal to the absolute value of half mass the square x minus x0 power 2 and y minus y0 power 2. So this is the definition of the Euclidean distance, okay? So if the distance moved is smaller than the desired distance, so remember that the desired distance is a parameter here, for example, I want to move one meter or two meters. If I have already moved one meter or two meters, in this case, I'm going to print feature and I'm going to exit the while loop using break. At the end, of course, we should not forget to stop the robot when the distance is velocity dot linear dot x equal to zero and we have to publish the velocity message so that the robot is going to stop immediately so this is for the move function we can just test the move function in the main okay so let me enable this move function i'm going now to make the robot move at speed one for a distance two and in the forward direction okay so it's pretty much simple Rostran, Rost Essential CPP, Turtle Sim Cleaner to Pi. Okay, and the robot now is moving forward for a distance of 2 meters. You can see here the distance is printed. Okay, the distance is printed here. Now I can make the robot move backward if I want. So all I need to do is to just put this false. Okay, and the robot is going to move back. Okay, so this is the first function related to the straight motion, okay, or the linear motion.